Welcome to the Transform Your Life podcast. I'm your host, Cass Henry. I'm on a mission to help women live their best and happiest life. In order to do that, I believe we need to live with a lot less clutter in our homes and in our minds. So if this is you and you're looking to learn the best tips for transforming all areas of your life, then you have come to the right place. Thanks so much for being here. Now, let's get started. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the podcast. I am so happy to be here. I actually started out my first podcast, which was called Unapologetically On Purpose. And as much as I love that podcast, I realized that some things changed and a lot of it was around my own mindset, around the way that I wanted to kind of portray myself, the way that I spoke. There were so many things that just didn't sit well with me and so I thought why not just restart from scratch, speak from my heart, change the mission a little bit although it's kind of the same and it's around inspiring and motivating women to live their best and happiest life and I believe that in order to do that we need to let go of so much clutter whether it's in our homes, whether it's in our hearts, whether it's in our beliefs, in order to have that life that we desire. And so I'm bringing to you all the best tips and strategies that I have learned throughout my journey of decluttering and organizing as well as my personal development journey, as well as I will be bringing on some guest experts so that you can learn from the best of the best in terms of whether it's even decluttering your body, like decluttering maybe it's like bad habits that you have like eating habits or maybe stress or trauma that's been built up there's so many ways that clutter shows up in our lives and so I feel like this is such a great place to do it and also creating videos is like next level uh I don't know like a time investment and so I feel like this is the best and easiest way to get information out to you all in a platform that you can listen to while you're walking your dog or driving to work or having a bath or brushing your teeth, doing the dishes, whatever it may be. I'm just naming sometimes that I might listen to podcasts. I'm always plugged into listening to podcasts. So perhaps you might feel the same. And I just wanna say thank you so much for being here, for choosing to listen to the podcast. And I hope that you show up every week so that you can learn tips and strategies on how to declutter and organize your life too. So I thought that I would take this first episode to kind of introduce myself and give you a little bit of background on who I am, how I got started, and then on future episodes I will dive into tips and strategies. So my name is Cassandra. I have been decluttering and organizing people's homes for pretty much my entire life, but I started my business six years ago. Um, the reason why I started my business was because, well, a little backstory, I became a single mom when I was, I think I was 20, and then when my son was nine months old, I went to school to become a personal support worker, and I really loved the job, but the, the pay and the hours, it just wasn't lining up with the way that I wanted to live my life, as well as it wasn't really conducive to being a single mom. And so in August of, I believe it was 2016, I gave myself one month to kind of figure out what I wanted to do with my life. And oh my goodness, if you are ever faced with that question, that is a fully loaded question. No pressure or anything, but that's a question that I asked myself. And I said, if I can't figure out at the end of this month what I want to do with the rest of my life, then I'll just accept a minimum wage paying job. I'll be a personal support worker. I'll do whatever I need to do in order to support myself and my son. And I will just carry on with my life. Well, little did I know, I had no idea what was in store for me. So I asked myself questions like, what am I good at? What do I enjoy doing? What am I passionate about? And I realized that I love helping people get rid of their stuff. I've always helped people rearrange their homes or while I was babysitting, I would organize my um, the family's homes that I would be babysitting their kids for. I realized also that I probably should have asked before because not everybody likes that. (laughs) 
Um, but yeah, so I realized that's something that I really enjoyed doing. So what I did was I posted in a Facebook group, in a mom Facebook group saying, is anybody interested in receiving help with decluttering and organize their, organizing their home? And I got my first client and I charged $25 an hour for, I think it was like three hours. And after that, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe somebody paid me $25 an hour to declutter their home. I feel like I am on top of the world. It felt so good to help them get rid of so much stuff just in that first session. I had no idea what I was doing, but at the same time, like in terms of business or my path or or really my vision, I didn't even know I was really creating a business, but... I did know how to help people and I've continued to learn how to help people in in better ways as well as myself but in that moment it just felt really amazing to be able to I don't know I guess kind of live on my own terms in a way and really help people get rid of things that they no longer need they were super nice they were so um kind and welcoming and also, it was awesome that they were my first client. So, yeah. After that, there I went through like this whole journey of figuring out what business actually is. So, my first business name was Cass's Decluttering Solutions. I rebranded a year after that uh, to call my business Transformed Spaces, which I felt was um, uh, fitting because that's essentially what I do is I help people transform their spaces whether it's internally or externally and I have just been learning all throughout uh, during the pandemic the global pandemic that we are faced with I had to pivot and it was actually really nice because I was wanting to pivot uh, to go online to help people more with life coaching versus just in their homes but after so I did that for like about a year I was doing vision board workshops since 2018 after I had attended a Tony Robbins conference called Unleash the Power Within which was absolutely incredible and I will save that for a future episode um, but I took those workshops and I was hosting them virtually for a year uh, monthly I believe it was during the pandemic as well as as well as I was doing some um, life coaching and I created a course and I also created a personal development uh, journal which is really amazing. It's called the Ultimate Fulfillment Journal. I love it. It has really helped me stay focused in terms of what I want to um, be, do, have, create and feel and accomplish in my life. So that was all really exciting but then I realized that oh my gosh it actually takes so much time, effort, energy to doing an online business than I actually thought. Like you see all of these social media influencers where they're writing about how successful they were in their online business. And I'm like, okay, well like if they can do it, so can I. And so I tried it out and oh my gosh, I would work so hard and I wouldn't even make a penny. And I was like, how do people do this? So um, I didn't I didn't quit that, but I refocused back to decluttering and organizing in people's homes when I was legally back allowed to do that. And um, in May of 2022 was when I decided, okay, I do absolutely love helping people declutter their homes um, in homes as well as virtually. So how can I combine my passion for teaching um, with like decluttering as well as with personal development because I still love vision boards and mindset and all of that. So in May of 2022, I launched and created my program Clutter to Calm, which I super love and I welcomed 19 ladies into it in the first round. Um, I'm recording this podcast episode at the beginning of October in 2022 and I haven't launched relaunched the program again yet but I plan to do that um, I'm hoping in November or in December of 2022. I want there's so many things that I want to add into the program that I felt were missing in the first round. Don't worry for the ladies who joined the first round you will still get Get access to all of these goodies that I will be adding into it but it's just been it's just been so much fun in future episodes I'm going to talk all about 
um, my struggles with depression and anxiety and OCD and ADHD and all the things as well as I'm going to give you so many tips on how to declutter your space on how to even do things like creating boundaries around your time, around relationships, around the things that you consume so that you can feel really good in your life because we only get one shot at this. And as, I don't know, scary as that may sound, it is the truth. And as much as I don't want to have that in the forefront of my mind every day, I do casually remind myself that, you know, life is short. And so follow your heart. And I like to infuse a lot of, you know, being intuitive with your with yourself. Like as you're going through your space, really ask yourself, connect to your why, um, dig deep and remind yourself like what is most important to you? Like what is most important to you in your life? And if you can stay true to that when you're going through the process of decluttering anything in your life then you're a lot more likely to succeed than if you were to forget that and just hone in on the um, situation or the person or the circumstance or the item that you're trying to decide whether or not to keep in your life. So I cannot wait to embark on this journey with you. I love podcasting as well as I love consuming podcasts. So if there's anything that you would love to learn or hear from me in future podcasts, please let me know. I am all ears. I'm just super grateful to be listening or not be listening, but to be chatting with you all. Um, I've started doing a weekly live Q&A in my Facebook group which is Transform Your Life. If you go into Facebook slash groups um, slash Transform Spaces, I'll put it in the show notes as well. I do do a weekly live Q&A in there if you have any specific questions that you want answered live. And I will be doing the podcast episodes weekly. I haven't decided yet which day they will be released, but stay tuned. I will know that shortly. It just depends on when I feel like it will be um, the best time of the week. But please come hang out with me on Instagram. I'm always posting tips and um, motivation and behind the scenes of my life as well as in the business. And come hang out in my Facebook group where I do the same thing, but then we also do live um, hot seat coaching, things like that. So I want to thank you so much for being here. I can't wait to um, hang out with you every week. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next episode. Enjoy your life. Enjoy this journey. And I wish you the best of luck in your decluttering and organizing journey, my friend. Much love to you and I'll talk with you soon. Bye!